I was in the middle of making this video uh, about a week or so ago when my computer crashed and I lost all of the footage of the unboxing and the capacity test and pretty much all of it. So I'm having to start all over from scratch. So I've already gotten rid of the box, so no unboxing today. But what we got here is a watt cycle, 12 volt, 100 amp hour mini with a smart edition, which means it has Bluetooth app. So I'm really looking forward to this, uh, even though I've already seen it, but we're going to look forward to doing it again, I guess. But I really like Watt Cycle. Everything I've gotten from Watt Cycle so far has been a fantastic battery. So we're going to go ahead and get this all charged back up again and run another capacity test so we can get the footage for it. And uh, let's get this wired up. All right, we'll go ahead and get this hooked up to the charger here and top it off before we get this capacity test started. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, we're fully charged here. Let's go ahead and start this capacity test. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, drain this battery and load up our big Mango Power E power station that we have over here at uh, full charge rate here for this capacity test. And what we're hoping to see is that we're going to get over this 100 amp hours. All right, we're going to start this off at 383 watts or 30 amps. And then we're going to uh, raise that up in a little bit. So as you see, we're here in the app. And we have a charge switch and a discharge switch. We are discharging right now, doing this capacity test. We're going to go ahead and hit this discharge switch and see what happens here. And boom, it stops the charging. We'll go ahead and turn that back on. And you see we're back to charging again now. So you can do the same thing with charging. If you wanted to disconnect it from charging and only have a discharge, I'm not really sure what the point of that would be, but it's nice that there's an option there, I guess, for certain scenarios that I can't uh, think of. But we have our, our temperature sensor here telling us the current temperature, your battery status of each cell. I really like that they have the settings for each cell so you can see the balance state of the battery. And uh, we've got settings here where you can go in. I think most of these require a password that we don't have. But if you needed to troubleshoot the battery and you contacted customer service or something and they wanted to uh, test some things, it's nice that you can go in here into your app, change these settings that, that uh, you'd have to work with the uh, tech support department over at WattCycle or whatever. So we have a warning messages. I have none at the moment. And the status display. This is what it would look like if you, when you first uh, open the app. We're going to have this one here. And I did change the name. If you click the little ink pen thing up at the top, you can change the name. It came as some, some number, so I changed it to this so I know what it is. So it's a pretty basic app, but it gives you what you need to know, which the main purpose to me of these apps is to have the uh, percentage left in your battery so you know your constant state of charge. And it's nice to be able to do it from across the room. You just pull up your app real quick and uh, check the state of charge of your battery and see where you're at. Because with lithium iron phosphate batteries, you can't simply do that by voltage based on the uh, the steep discharge curve. It stays at a constant voltage or you know above 12 and 13 uh, volts all the way up until the last 10% uh, or so of the battery before it starts declining in voltage. That's why you can't use traditional voltmeters to have any idea how much your state of charge is like you used to be able to do with a lead-acid battery. We'll go back to our normal discharge screen here for the rest of this uh, test. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, activate the quick charge feature on my power station here, which is going to ramp up the charge power to about 1800 plus watts which is almost 150 amps 
which should trigger a disconnect on this battery because it has a 100 amp BMS and that's what you want for safety reasons which is why I always recommended you have two batteries at, or a 200 amp BMS so that you can utilize uh, 1800 watts to 2000 watts of power or more uh, to do anything like cooking or something like that you need to be able to have two batteries a single battery 12 volt system uh, is not really capable of cooking and high amperage equipment uh, unless you use uh, low voltage cookware that keeps it under 1280 watts uh, of power basically so we're going to go ahead and activate that quick charge now and see what happens and we should trigger a disconnect we'll go ahead and see how long that takes all right it's ramping up now 69 amps 102 amps 140 amps and this should drop to zero as it disconnects if the safety mechanism of there it goes that is exactly what was supposed to happen that triggers a disconnect on my app so i have to restart it there so we're going to just continue the rest of this test charging at 28 to 30 amps or so 350 to 400 watts all right we're going to go ahead and ramp up the amperage a little bit here i need to make some rice for dinner so i'm going to go ahead and add this to the load this little mini dash rice cooker it only uses about uh, 200 watts or so it takes about 30 minutes or so to make rice so we'll go ahead and get that on while we're doing this to, just to add a little something to the load and take care of some business i need to take care of anyway as you see we're now at 46 amps rather than 30 and we added about 200 watts to the load here All right, so let me give you my final thoughts here. Uh, I, this is my fourth watt cycle battery, and I have been thoroughly impressed with every single one of them. Uh, I, I don't think you can go wrong. It, it's one of my top brands that I would recommend at this at this stage of the game. It used to be Lee Time, but I think these are these guys are blowing uh, Lee Time out of the water now as far as the budget build batteries they are new to the the bluetooth and you know the one downside is i wish the app would show the like time to fully charge or fully discharge at the current rate of charge or discharge sort of like a power station battery would do some of the apps do that and some of them don't so hopefully at some point they have an app upgrade i don't think it's going to make any difference with the battery itself but probably with the app and it's their first edition of the app so I imagine that's probably going to get even better. And it's still per perfectly functional. It's just that's a, it's not a feature that I would like to see. But at this price point, I don't really see how you can go wrong with this. The, the size is perfect. I'm really in love with this mini form factor size. And this is one of the smaller minis, too, that I have. And Watt Cycle, not only is it excellent build quality, they perform well. This one got a, a little over 102 amp hours. All of the other ones got well over that even. the uh, I think the Group 24 got uh, 105 uh, amp hours. And uh, it, it's a bargain price. Right now, the, the Group 24 one is only $155. And, you know, the I, I believe we're coming to the end of the road of the price falling for... Uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries and i really do believe that now is the time before the end of the year to get these batteries because the tariffs are coming whether you like it or not uh, it doesn't really matter the election or anything they both want the same thing so the tariffs are coming and the price of these is going to have to go up and maybe that's why they keep driving the price down and it's trying to get the money while they still can and i recommend that people take advantage of this opportunity because i think that the these the 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 days of the super cheap lithium iron phosphate batteries is going to be short-lived here pretty soon. All right, so the current price on Amazon right now for this, they have a $70 off coupon. The regular price, $249, and that would be a good deal. 
but they have a $70 off coupon, bringing this down to $179.99 with Bluetooth, and it's a mini. That's just that's just a, a crazy cheap price for a extremely good quality a battery. So I, I highly recommend pretty much anything from Watts. Like if you don't need the Bluetooth uh, and you don't want the mini, again, I did it in a, in a previous video, the uh, Group 24, it's a smoking price right now, $155. I don't know how long that's going to last. And I have a 5% off coupon code exclusive to my channel for their website. And uh, you can check that out down below. I always recommend that you check Amazon and their website uh, of all these things because sometimes there's a sale on Amazon and sometimes there's just good sale on their website. So check out both links. See which one has the best deal. And I recommend pulling the trigger on this before those tariffs kick in. So I'll go ahead and drop links to my other battery review videos right here. And I'll go ahead and drop the link to the uh, Group 24 Watt Cycle battery right here because that is a really, really good deal. It's the cheapest I've ever seen a battery of this quality. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.